The World Custom Organization has declared the year 2021 to recovery, renewal, and resilience following the COVID-19 pandemic that has disrupted global trade flows. In the context of the celebration of International Women's Day 2021, the WCO acknowledges that the global pandemic has impacted more severely on groups that were already disadvantaged. If we want to build more resilient supply chains, it is essential to put people at the center of the recovery process, ensuring that diversity and inclusiveness are part of customs organizational policies. The United Nations theme for International Women's Day, Women in Leadership, Achieving an Equal Future in a COVID-19 World, also focuses on this recovery process highlighting the importance of women's efforts to shape the future. In the past year, we have also seen devastating reports that gender-based violence has increased during the pandemic. This is something that public administrations such as customs must remain attentive to add to their utmost to prevent and when it occurs to support victims of such violence. There are also the economic impacts of COVID. Some people estimate that women will be disproportionately affected by these economic shocks, as women are more often employed in insecure jobs. It is our responsibility to take into consideration and support, for instance, women in trade to minimize these impacts. Mainstreaming gender equality and diversity into customs daily work is key for recovery as it contributes to making organizations and societies more adaptive, inclusive, and thereby more resilient. In this context, I'm pleased to announce that the first edition of the WCO Compendium on Advancing Gender Equality and Diversity in Customs is now available online. Gender equality and diversity is not only a question of human rights, but also considered as prerequisite for achieving sustainable development, growth, and competitiveness. The WCO Secretariat therefore incorporates these issues as an integral part of its capacity building agenda in order to enhance the overall performance of custom administrations. As gender equality and diversity are cross-cutting issues, the WCO recommends adopting a holistic approach and encourages its members to consider gender and inclusiveness both in internal policies, including human resource management, leadership, and career development, as well as external policies. Over the past years, the WCO members have stepped up their efforts to promote gender equality and diversity in customs. Moreover, the WCO has expanded the scope of its work to also discuss broader diversity and inclusiveness issues. In 2017, the Virtual Working Group for Gender Equality and Diversity was launched to provide a platform to members to exchange experiences and good practices, as well as to raise awareness of the Gender Equality Organizational Assessment Tool. Further to this, a blended training package advancing gender equality in customs was developed, including a core one-week uh, one workshop and an e-learning module. During the WCO Council sessions in December 2020, the WCO and its membership unanimously adopted the declaration of the Customs Corporation Council on Gender Equality and Diversity in Customs. This also illustrates the increased uh, interest from WCO members to further advance the gender equality and diversity agenda. The declaration calls for customer administration to share their experiences on strengthening gender equality and diversity, as well as on monitoring and evaluating methodologies to assess and report progress in this area. Building on above, the compendium, which showcases examples from 70 member administrations, 
serves as a valuable and timely publication for members to help guide their related efforts. Going forward, the compendium will be part of the continuous work to collect more practices on advancing gender equality and diversity, both internally within customs and also in relation to customs engagement with stakeholders. On this special day, I would like to express my appreciation to all WCO members who came together and voiced their support and, more importantly, affirmed their commitment to advance gender equality and diversity in customs by adopting our declaration. I would also like to thank those members who have contributed to the development of the compendium by sharing their practices and the United Kingdom's Prosperity Fund for making this compendium possible under the framework of the Trade Facilitation in Middle Income Countries program. I would also like to commend the work of women in customs and invite the entire customs community to take actions by creating a necessary environment for them to thrive and play a more significant role at operational and leadership level. Allow me also to take this opportunity to thank all members for the ongoing support to the WCO's global capacity building efforts. I wish you all a happy International Women's Day. Thank you.